Now that's a lot of damage! All right, what is going on everybody? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Division 2 video. I'm super excited to bring you guys this new build video I've been working on for a while now. Um, it's a 3 million DPS marksman rifle build, but I'll, sh I'll get into that in a bit. But before I do, um, make sure if you haven't done so already guys, you are subscribed to the channel with bell notifications turned on. I post daily looter shooter videos. I'm also running a giveaway this month guys for a console of your choice. Doesn't matter where you're from, anyone can enter. The link to that will be at the top of the video description. And yeah, don't forget to drop a like. Let's try and get 2,000 likes on this video and let's jump straight into it. Now, before we start off the build, I just want to show you what weapon I'm using because I always watch build videos and they show the weapon last and it's super annoying. So I want to introduce you guys to the Paratrooper SVD. Now, a lot of people are probably sleeping on this just because it is a marksman rifle, but it's one of the fastest firing marksman rifles in the game. And technically, it's a rifle. Like, if you look at my military MK, and then you look at the paratrooper, I can actually get more fire rate on a marksman rifle than I can a um, rifle. Now, this is really, really good for this build, because marksman rifles have a perk where it pretty much gives you headshot damage, 138% headshot damage. And then a rifle gives you 15% crit hit damage, which is kind of garbage. Like, you wouldn't really want that. 138% headshot damage, or... 15% critical hit damage. I know what I'm going with the paratrooper SVD. Do not sleep on this weapon. It is nuts. So this thing's recoil is crazy. Like it kicks like crazy. So you need a lot of mods that are basically going to make it look like this here. So I'm running uh, the 5.52 hollow 10% accuracy to bring the accuracy up using the sturdy marksman rag for 20% stability. Um, I'm using the angled grip for 10% stability. You can also use the vertical grip, which is really good as well. I'm probably going to go back to that, actually. Um, for the barrel, I'm using the large suppressor 7.62. Like I said, depends how, like, you kind of want more accuracy, honestly, than stability. So I would go with the suppressor. And that's pretty much it. The perks, I've got Allegro and Ranger, if you can get Optimus here. If you get Optimus instead of Ranger, I'm telling you, you're going to do 4 million sustained dps with this gun um right now i'm doing around 3.2 million sustained dps with this weapon with ranger and that's still great ranger is good the only problem if you get optimus here you will need five or under red so it kind of won't really work so yeah ranger is probably your best bet here just because it doesn't restrict you to using under five reds so yeah let's jump onto the gear and before i even say anything i just want to let you guys know that it kind of needs a lot of work, and yes, I understand there could be improvements in some places, but the main goal for this build was to stack as much headshot damage as possible. And as you can see, if we go over to my headshot damage here real quick, I have 220% headshot damage, which is crazy. Now, my critical hit chance, critical hit damage doesn't matter. That's not what the build is about. It's that headshot damage. Now, I can hit like 300 400k headshots with this thing in rapid succession, so you can see where the damage comes from. Um, for the mask, I'm running the Gila Guard mask, uh, honestly, just for the damage to elites. Um, you can use this build in PvP if you want, it will probably like two tap players. I'm running the Fenris Group Combat Vest, just for the 11.5% headshot damage I rolled on this. I've got 5% weapon damage, obviously unstoppable forces and rocking, and I've got hard hitting with some weapon damage mods on it. For the holster, I'm running the Araldi Holdings um, for the 10% accuracy and the 10% headshot damage. I've also got Precise, so I've got 15% headshot damage on this as well. 2.5% uh, weapon damage and 1% headshot damage on the holster. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a third piece of Araldi Holdings, and I'll get into that in a bit. Um, for the backpack, I am running the Alp Summit Ornaments just for the, I guess, base weapon damage. If you can get like a good rolled backpack with like 8%, 10% weapon damage and hard hitting, just run that because honestly that's all I've um, opted to use this backpack for is just because it had a quite a high, probably my highest um, weapon damage with hard hitting. For the gloves, I'm using the Araldi Holding gloves um, just to cap out the 10% headshot damage. Um, I've got 7% marksman rifle damage with 15% headshot damage. I have thought about going with like devastating, but honestly, um, 
like I said, I just wanted to stack as much headshot damage as possible. Um, for the uh, for the knee pads, this is really important just because this weapon kicks so much, and this is what helps me pretty much control the weapon. Um, I've got the Wyvern Wear with Braced, so while in cover, weapon handling is increased by 25%. Um, I've got 4% headshot damage and 1% weapon damage, and critical hit damage, critical hit chance. And that's pretty much it. Now, you're probably looking at it and you're like, it's not that much stuff, like I could probably do that. Yeah, you could change out a lot of this stuff, just try and get as much headshot damage as you can, stability, accuracy. Um, I'm running the Merciless uh, just because the gun only has 10 bullets, so that's pretty much why. Um, it's really good with Brutality, yes, you can run Chatterbox if you want, but I've always preferred Merciless over the Chatterbox Holster Perk. Um, that's just my personal preference, you can do what you want with it. And then most of you sometimes ask about my sidearm, I'm just running the M4 5A1 with a uh, rate of fire. So yeah, don't really use that, but I guess you could use sidearm depending on your build. Um, obviously for the specialist, I am running the sharpshooter and you probably guessed why. Now let me go show you. So the sharpshooter tree, for those of you who are new to the division, has probably one of the best set of perks you can get from a uh, specialist. Now the main thing being is the 25% increased headshot damage. Now this is just huge. I really hope this doesn't get nerfed in the future because I feel like uh, sharpshooter is just going to get nerfed because it's it's so good for every build. Um, you've got deft hands, 30% increased reload speed. That's just nuts by itself. You've got the uh, breath control, 30% increased weapon stability. Really good for controlling the kick. Um, and then we've got obviously the rifle damage, which doesn't affect our build because our weapon, as you know, is a marksman rifle. So you probably want to see this gun in action. So I'm going to put some gameplay in the background of me just shooting in the firing range. So yeah, obviously you want to be aiming for the head. So yeah, obviously the headshots are hitting for like 350, 400k. You hit three of these in rapid succession, that's going to just destroy enemies. It's so good. I am 100% using this over my uh, MK17. I think this is the new, I guess, rifle meta. Even though it's a marksman rifle, it's so good. If you have a paratrooper SVD, use it. Like, if you get Allegro, if you get Ranger on it, you're sorted. This gun is so good. And I've also got a perk which is really, really nice called Everlasting on it. While holstered and in cover, this weapon regenerates two ammo every five seconds. Now, Granted, yes, the gun only has 10 bullets, but it is classed as a marksman rifle, which makes it just crazy in itself. So yeah, let's go over our perks again here real quick, and I guess I'll just show you everything I've got. Uh, so obviously we've got 50%, 56% uh, uh, weapon damage, 14.5% critical hit, um, 32 critical hit damage, 220 headshot damage, um, reload speed, obviously the accuracy, stability, um, marksman rifle damage bonus. Now the improvements to this build I would make, I would try and get an Araldi Holdings backpack because I'm pretty sure the backpack um, can roll with like hard hitting. If you can get an Araldi Holdings backpack, it will complete the three set bonus and give you 10% marksman rifle damage. That's the only thing I'm missing for this build is that 10% increased marksman rifle damage. Imagine I had that, like this build is doing 3.2 uh, million sustained DPS by itself and the fact that I'm able to add another 10% and for those of you out there that have the blue mods the ones that give you like 6% increased damage with like a mod is crazy I haven't seen any other builds like this on YouTube using the power trooper SVD but this gun's nuts I love it um, I'm probably gonna leave you guys now with some gameplay of this gun in like high difficulty bounties to show you it's a super good solo build as well but I hope you guys enjoyed and remember if you haven't entered that console of your choice giveaway um, link will be at the top of the video description and remember to leave a like on the video to support the channel guys let's try and reach 2000 likes um, and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video peace